Hi everyone, and welcome to this course on deploying a custom object detection deep learning model in the cloud and using this deployed model to power a visual search engine like Google Lens on both Android and web apps. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss amazing content like this. Object detection is a computer vision technique used for spotting objects and localizing these objects in an input image or video. These objects could go from tiny microscopic cells to persons, vehicles, animals, traffic lights, and even clothing. That said, what the object detection algorithm does is it locates each and every object found in the image, and then it correctly says which particular object is found at a particular location. In this case, we have the object bicycle and it is found at this location with a probability of 0.65. This score of 0.65 shows how confident the machine is that at this position we have a bicycle. This confidence scores range between 0 and 1, meaning that the machine is more confident that at this position we have a car as compared to how confident it is that at this position we have a bicycle. And so the higher this probability value we have here, the more confident the machine is. And the lower the value we have, the less confident the machine is that a particular object is found at a given position. There are generally two major approaches to object detection. That is using classical computer vision algorithms or using deep learning techniques. In this course, we shall focus on deep learning as it has proven to have state-of-art results. If you've never come in contact with deep learning before, don't feel intimidated by these terms as we are going to break down everything in this course. There are several applications of object detection. In medicine, we could apply object detection in spotting out tumors in a brain. Object detection could also be used in correctly spotting out and detecting the exact positions of cells from microscopic images. Now, this means that without the presence of a specialist, the machine can be taught how to automatically detect certain anomalies in the human brain. And although deep learning techniques permit us get amazing results, this doesn't mean that the machine will or can already replace the medical doctor. Instead, in the domain of medicine, these kinds of algorithms help these medical doctors to be even more efficient. Another application of object detection would be in parking systems. Let's suppose that we have a fixed camera which has a fixed view of a parking lot. What a smart camera does is it draws these green lines for each and every parking spot. And so when we have a car which comes to fit in this green line, our system detects that car, which in this case is our object, and then these green lines turn to red. So we could see here how these green lines have now turned to red because cars have impact at those positions. Then we could further convert those green lines to red as we could see and then we could have something like this. Now with this kind of system the camera can send a signal to say there is only one parking spot left and so if a user is getting into this parking lot he or she knows that there is only that one parking spot left and in the case where there is no parking spot left the users automatically signal so that he or she could get to a different parking lot. Root AI is a startup which creates intelligent robots which make use of object detection to help in the harvesting process. As you could see right here this object detector is able to detect whether a fruit is ripe or not and detects the exact position such that this robot, as you could see, is able to harvest this fruit without any human interaction. This kind of processes permits farmers concentrate on 
other more important tasks while allowing the robot to carry out this kind of task in an autonomous manner. Object detection could be used in sports analytics. As you could see in this image right here, we have this object detector which detects the positions of the different players in the pitch and also correctly classifies these different players. So here we have a defender, 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 and then we have the different attackers, not forgetting the ball itself. And when we gather this kind of information throughout a match, you would find that we can use this for decision making. For example, a given team could make use of this kind of information to understand how the opponents function or how their overall play style is without necessarily having to have someone who monitors the different players during the match. And because this kind of information is gathered by a machine, you'd be sure of getting reliable information. To conclude, object detection is used in autonomous vehicles. As you could see here, the driver basically isn't touching the steering, but this car keeps going thanks to the fact that the cameras which have been put on the car are able to detect different objects on the road. So you see, we're able to detect the road max, we're able to detect different cars which are coming in and uh, different other, uh, other obstacles which may be on the road. And this helps Tesla self-driving cars move very securely. With this, we've seen just a few of a host of many other different applications of object detection. Though in this course, we are going to focus on using object detection for intelligent visual search. This course has been built for software developers who want to integrate AI and more specifically object detection into the software. Entrepreneurs who want to integrate AI into your products. Students who want to apply object detection in your course projects and assignments. And enthusiasts who want to test the power of modern AI while building state-of-the-art products. Talking about prerequisites, we have actually built this course to make it easy for anyone with basic Python knowledge to follow this course without much hassle. For those of you with no Python experience, you could check out our free Python programming course right here entitled Essential Python Programming. So you could click on this, go to the course, and then get started with Python before starting with this course. While laying much emphasis on practice, we are also going to make sure we explain each and every step we take so you get those concepts right. In the next section, we are going to understand at a high level the product we shall be building. Feel free to ask as many questions as possible. We shall always be there for you.